What's up everybody? Uh, just wanted to uh, show you my engine bay on my car. Um, there's a lot of work that we still got to do to it. Um, today what we're going to do on the car is we're going to uh, paint the brake calipers. And then I've got this really annoying... I pulled off the, um, um, the vinyl wrap that they put over my uh, cluster. And it looked terrible, but I want to paint it because it's it's grey, but yeah, it just doesn't look lovely. And I want it to really pop, so I'm probably going to do it like a matte black or something. But anyway, without further ado, here's my engine bay. Um, as you can see, it is an original BMW motor, but the motor has been played with in a big way. Um, I've got a Viper branch on it with a custom exhaust um, the bottom end's been done uh, it's been oversized so it's just under a 3.2 litre the compression ratio is about 11.7 on the motor uh, it's got oversized brand new Marley pistons racing bearings the head's been fiddled with and, and done it's got a custom intake it's actually a aluminium intake that's been welded uh, it's got a I think it's a 90 mil throttle body uh, yeah with the intake um, the plan for this engine is to possibly if it can handle boost is uh, turbo it uh, or supercharge it depending um, what I'd like to do on it as well is um, I need to address the radiator fan issue. I need to build a proper cowling for it. Um, yeah, as I said, so yeah, this is this car has been about two years in the making. Uh, a good mate of mine called Hanu has been helping me with it because uh, obviously in the week I can't always work, and it's been in his shop, and we've been working on it little by little. Um, yeah, it's basically a 3.2 litre motor going onto a 2 litre, well, a 320 uh, gearbox 5 speed and onto 1800 diff. So, yeah, and it's also been governed to rev to about 3400 revs because it's still running in. It's only got 460 k's on the clock. Um, as soon as this lockdown's over, we're going to take it off the governor and we're going to, I need to install the, um, the aircon piping as you can see over here and if you can see that there uh, I need to connect them up and get the aircon working um, then we're gonna dyno it and then we'll take it from there so it's a work in progress um, I had it sprayed uh, Nardo grey oh, I think it's quite a nice color I've just got to sort out this over here because that just doesn't look great I need to fix that up uh, but yeah so we're gonna do the brake calipers today and there's a couple of little things I want to button up but uh, yeah without it being tuned running sort of just the base tunes Petronics this thing is absolutely mean it, it literally wheel spins into third gear it's it's a monster this thing is gonna be very very surprising when it's done I think it's going to turn a lot of heads so yeah so what you can see over here is um, we've got a Canyon filter just wanted to show you properly what the engine bay looks like because in the previous video my focus is a little bit out. Uh, yeah, as you can see, Spectronics um, engine bay. We're going to clean and tidy up a little bit more, but um, I prefer functioning engine bay over a tucked engine bay because it, it just it's impractical. So we are going to neaten up a couple of things uh, and really make it very sexy. That's the plan. Um, yeah, um, the bodywork, it's okay. I'd like to eventually get it resprayed properly. But as you can see, this is what I was talking about. I need to mount that properly. And it looks decent. Um, other plans for it include on this door, um, the window mechanism is packed up. So I've actually taken it out. But now I can't put it in until the lockdown's over. So when it is, it'll be great. Um, the interior of the car is quite nice. It's, I prefer a 
material to leather, the seats were leather and I got it reupholstered, I'm super happy with that. But I need to install that as well today. And yeah, and what I'd like to do is also do spaces on the wheels. I still have to decide if I'm going to keep these wheels. I want to try and keep it looking as stock as possible so that when I embarrass people from robot to robot it must look just like a stock E46 with a twist. Um, the plan as well is to install one of the CSL lips on the back here to bring it out. Possibly, depending at a later stage, I'm going to go for a wide body kit just to really make this thing stand out. Um, as I said, the goal is to turbocharge this motor. I'm not sure if the tolerances can handle it on the motor anymore. If not, we'll probably chuck this engine out and use it for another project. Maybe get like a box shaped Beamer E30 of some sort. I don't know, we'll see. Um, really want to go for a 2J swap because everybody and their dog is doing it so I don't know we'll, we'll probably see what we do um, yeah maybe I can pick up a, a N63 motor eventually out of the X6 the M the twin turbo V8 that'll be something special but yeah for now it's great like I said this car is gonna be mean when it's done but anyway let's get back to work see we've taken the wheel off I'd like to paint this black eventually but I don't have any undercoat to paint it so hmm the plan here is we're gonna make this yellow because I think it'll really pop uh, yeah let's get to it Okay, so we're starting to get somewhere. This is the second coat. I will obviously clean all overspray on the shock off with some lacquer thinners, wipe it off. I'm just waiting for this to dry and then I'm gonna heat it to the third coat. Yeah, it's looking good. These are brand new shocks. The whole suspension on this car has also been done, so everything is perfect on it. Okay, that's what it looks like when it's done. I sprayed the center hub or nut with the cover. I sprayed it because it had a bit of rust. I cleaned it up. I also cleaned that shock up. It's looking good. I'm going to put the wheel back on and then do the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, last lady for a shave. We're doing the last wheel. That's looking really good. So what I'm busy doing here is, is I'm trying to fix this gap here that the bump has got. So I've actually drilled two holes plan is, is to put a cable strap through it for a cable tie and actually pull it together um, and then you put the camera down quick and I'll do it. Right so there you can see it's pulled in a lot better the 
gap is looking so much better I just need to touch up the paint and pull it in with two cable straps I will hide them as best as I can but for now that's going to work also busy with the first coat of paint on the brake caliper also to sort out that fog light there the fog light because it was disconnected and um, yes it's taking shape in a great way okay so yeah I've got some great touch up paint that I'm going to touch up on the bumper ever so slightly to touch up or a couple of other spots on the car that I want to touch up I managed to find a spray of paint that is almost identical to this color so it works out quite well the last caliper that we sprayed you can see it's looking nice touch up you can see it you can barely see that it was touched up also did a couple of spots around the body back wheel is looking grand as you can see there's the caliper it's looking very nice and tidy a couple of black trim that I want to touch up because the panel beater that I used to spray the car I don't know what it is with panel beaters but um, I believe that there's a special place in hell for all of them because depending on the weather is how they work but anyway um, as you can see the car is looking so much better calipers are looking nice it suits the paint um, I touched up a spot on the bumper in the front here you can't even see it blended in it's nice and clean um, I think in tomorrow's video what we're going to do is we're going to spray that dash panel um, matte black I'm also going to see if I can touch up on the black trim for argument's sake along here. It looks neat. As well as spots like that. And here, and also on the beadings on the side. As you can see, he polished the car but didn't even wipe it off properly. So I need to attend to that as well. And uh, other than that, Spot here on the back as well and I want to give this car a proper detail maybe tomorrow what's up everybody um, so yeah it's done it's looking a lot better I need to just put the last wheel on I'm gonna take a walk around and show you guys what it looks like uh, I think it looks absolutely fantastic damn it's so sexy this car <laughs> and it drives flipping amazing yeah my next door neighbors are probably going to moan now because I started it up, but you know what? Who cares? That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good evening.